What's up, Scotty? By the way, you did a great job. And here's the thing, right? We talk about the rich culture. When you think of cowboys, and a lot of folks, you got to remember, Mexicans are cowboys. They've been cowboys for a long time. These vaqueros, meaning they, they turn around and really ranch and get the cowboy life going. Uh, and to think when you look at these photos here, it all started out back in the days with a high school trip. And Warner, you then became a commercial photographer. You did a lot of business. And then you said, you know what? There's something missing in my life. I need to go out and I need to find some excitement. And boy, did you when you capture all these photos. Yeah, I've been photographing the Northern Mexican cowboy for over 40 years now, 20 years professionally or more seriously. And I wanted to leave something with the culture and the way of life of the vaquero culture. You said you really like this photo here. Uh, and, yeah. and tell me why, because honestly, in all your pictures that, that you have in, I love the way you capture the images and you capture the life. And a lot of it, by the way, guys, natural lighting. Yeah, it's, it's, tra it's a traditional family here which, you know, it becomes, I think this way of life is disappearing uh, because of globalization. And I try to find, you know, the, what's still naturally there, right? Hey, well, yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you what's yeah. naturally here and what naturally isn't here, and especially in all these photos, cell phones. I don't see anybody on their cell phone here. And when, they're, or when you do have a group picture, they're all paying attention to each other. Yes, the technology is missing. But that's the beauty of it, you know, that you can live life without it. And here's the thing. When you look at it, there's a huge map that you have here of the southern uh, Mexico where you turn around, you take a look, and the folks are in Sonora, so you get to see their lifestyle. You get to see how they live, and you capture that in your photos. Yes. I mean, it's, for, it's 40 years of friendship, too. It's not only that. I got embedded with the Cowboys. I'm honored to ride with them for the last 40 years and become part of their culture. Well, and that was the thing, because if you're going to live with them, uh, you're going to have to put in work, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. And I think that's part of the reason why they respect me, because I, you know, I don't complain. I'm out there with them. It's a hard life. It's a beautiful life, but, you know, unfortunately, it's a life that is disappearing. What I love is that you're going to get to share this because here's the problem, uh, Tricia. A lot of times this goes by the wayside. People forget about it. They go in, and here at Western Spirit, the Scottsdale's Museum of the West, not only do you guys have it starting tomorrow into February, but it's bilingual as well. That is correct. It's our first exhibition that is bilingual, Spanish and English labels, and from here on, all of our exhibitions will be bilingual and uh, after nine years it's, it's just a, a phenomenal exhibition we've never done anything at all like this Warner's work it just it speaks you know volumes for the rich culture of Mexico the, that we share here at Western Spirit all right when folks I mentioned it starts tomorrow so we're getting a sneak yeah. preview it's going to run through February what do folks need to know well, they need to know that we're open uh, Tuesday through Sunday at 9.30 to 5. Um, on Sundays, we're open 11 to 5. And uh, just to come on down, and, and we would love to uh, have you here to view this exhibition that's here through February 20th, 2024. All right, Warner, I got to tell you, congratulations on this, because to be honest with you, uh, my rich culture, especially with my uh, family in, in Sonora, I had them come up through Texas as well. When you look at this, I see a lot of my family in these photos, and you captured exactly how when I think of what my grandfathers uh, did when they were uh, getting started coming here, working, this is, these are the ranches they talked about. These are the ranches they stayed in and the ranches they, they lived in, and these folks are still living at present day. But look at that. When you take a look at, at what he captures there, all natural lighting, by the way, which is amazing. Uh, come on out. As I mentioned, it starts tomorrow all the way through February. Bring your families. Here's the thing. You need to learn your history and know what it's about. And Warner, great job. Thank you. Great job. Oh, that's a must see. Scott, good job on the Spanish pronunciation, too. <laughs> Thank you. We were, Olivia and I were just commenting on how real it's almost like they're standing behind There's you. There's a 3D quality to all of this. Wow. Yeah, really fast. Yes, and you know, and there's a little trick to that. He mentioned uh, long exposures will give you that perfect oh, okay. wow. to it. But man, he did such an amazing job. Yeah, I yeah, gotta see that, that for myself. Thank that you, wasn't Gibby. from his iPhone.